So this is just another quick project to fill up my tackle box of spinner bait. So there are very few components in this layer. We've got a hook, a wire that's attached to the hook. Uh, this goes through to a swivel, a split ring and a blade. Uh, here we've got a weight on the bottom, obviously the skirt and, and a, an attachment for the skirt to hold it in place. So the wire I'm using for this project is one millimeter or forty thousandths of an inch stainless steel spinner wire. The length is uh, 200 mil or eight inch. So the first job to do is put my hook on um, and this is a 3.0 C hook so it's quite a strong hook. I've gone through the probably about inch and a quarter, 30 mil, and I'm going to take a pair of standard pliers and grip it. There is an easier way to do this, and it's probably in the vise, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this round, so I'm going to give it a turn. And then because this is a strong hook, I can take my pliers and just twist the hook. There. Then I'm going to straighten out this shaft here. So you'll probably find that there's some rotational movement there because the wire is a lot smaller than the eye that it's passing through. Uh, the easy way to solve that is just literally some super glue. Um, just let it work down along and into that, and it'll hold on the shank and there. Hold on the shank and the eye. The other option is a tiny bit of um, five minute epoxy just dolloped in that eye just to clog it up and that'll stop movement. I might do that later yet. So the next thing to do is add the weight uh, and this is a powder coated weight and um, what I've done is I've taken a, a standard lead free weight and powder coated it put a black dab on for the eye which I'll show you how to do now. So for powder coating, I've got my weight, I've put it on a wire and just run a bit of candle wax down that wire to stop the uh, powder paint attaching to the wire. Obviously my powder paint here and the heat gun. So I've got my weight over the heat gun, I'm going to give it about 15 seconds. So for the eyes I'm just using a bit of black acrylic um, and what I've done is I've just poured some into the lid and I'm going to dab the, the end of a nail in there until I get a nice blob and then just steady as I can. There we go. One. I'll just turn that round. That's on the bottom. So I'm just going to leave that to dry. So once that's dried, I just really to set the paint, I'm going to give it a, a quick blast with the heat gun. So you can just leave it at that, but often I like to just get a bit of nail varnish and just coat the pupil. Just roll it around. Also gives it a bit of a shine. So once the weight's finished and dry, you can just slip it on. Um, you can see there that it's loose and I don't always fix it in position. If I was going to fix it in position, you need to move it a, a few millimetres or maybe ten millimetres. 
uh, three eighth of an inch up and fix it with some epoxy if not just leave it um, the bend that I'm going to put in should stop it moving up the wire so if you look below the video you should see a link to a blog post which contains this drawing off a PDF and it's just a, a diagram of a spinner bait and this is what I'm going to bend to so what I'm using to bend is a pair of long nose or snipe nose pliers these are quite fine um, but I'm just going to place it here for this first bend and I'll just give it a tweak up and see where we are yeah that's about right and then the second bend I'm going to do a wrap just see if we can go around that way so I'm going to take that eye see if I can show you that another way just bring it up tight and wrap I'm going to give it two turns we should come back to that so to make the top eye I'm just literally going to grab the end um, and roll it I'm not going to be completely close this eye because I need to put a swivel in there um, so at this point it's just good to check how it's lining up and you can see that it's slightly out so just literally tweak it um, till it straightens up you want it all in the same plane I think as I said that before and that way it's weedless the hooks uh, this will defend the hook and this will defend the hook so to make the blade you'll see on the bottom of the PDF uh, there's a template to print out and what I've done is I've printed out this on ordinary paper um, cut out the blade size number 4 stuck it to this piece of brass with some Pritt stick um, this is uh, 0.3 of a millimetre which I think is 11 thousandths of an inch brass and it's just covered with a bit of plastic film and now what I'm going to do uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just punch out this hole and I've got here a panel pin I've snipped the end off and flattened on a sharpening stone and I'm just going to place it on the hole and hopefully There we go, punch, punch the hole out. So once the hole's punched out, I can just basically cut this blade out with a pair of kitchen scissors. Clean up the edges. I'm just using a cheap diamond stone just to smooth off any bird. If you put it in a dessert spoon and get a ball and pain hammer, the rounded part of the hammer, and just tap it. There you go. That'll give you a curve. Then peel off the plastic. the blade's done. So to attach the blade to your rig I'm just really just a case of sliding onto a split ring there you go uh, the split rings attached to a, a swivel and it's the swivel that goes into your loop there and then it's just a case of closing that eye the swivel can't come off and then we're on to making the skirt so for the skirt material I've got a bungee and inside this bungee is filled with I don't know whether you can see that elastic um, and that's what I want so I'm going to take about 115 mil four and a half inch cut that off get rid of that eye and then what I'm going to do is I've got a piece of shrink wrap tubing um, it's just a bit bigger I'm going to slide that over first. Um, 
and just put it somewhere halfway. Then taking the end what you'll see is some of these are stuck together I'm just gonna pull the bits of elastic it should break up any that are, that are kind of stuck together so you need to do this at both ends um, sometimes you open these and they're all individual pieces most often the strands are glued together you can see them breaking apart there so I'll carry on I'll do the other end so I've loosened both ends there now it's a case of cutting away this sheathing um, what, what the only way I found to do this is just with a sharp knife and just basically See the fibers coming out there. So leaving this in the middle, I just work my way along. So I've taken off that sheet, and you can see that it's the elastic's kind of almost broken into its pieces. Just pull a bit more. The back. Uh, what I've done is I've moved this down just over halfway, and this is going to be the back, which I'm not too bothered about this being kind of a part or not. To be honest, um, it's more more for bulk. I like it for. Um, so I'm going to get a cigarette lighter and just just put some heat on that shrink wrap just to shrink it down. You can do this with hot water. Um, as an alternative to shrink wrap, I've used O-rings, small elastic bands, um, cotton before today. Just made a bundle with cotton. Now you can just use it like that, and, and oftentimes I just put it on the layer like that, but. To dress it, what I do is I take a, a shapey marker, uh, just put some stripes on it. You can actually colour them different colours with the different markers, individual pieces instead of doing stripes. This works for me. Normally after you've done this you need to leave it for a few minutes just to dry off really. So then to finish your base it's just a case of putting your skirt on. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to put the long way on first. Um, so let's thread that up the hook. I'm going to take it right over the eye of the hook. There we go. That's basically finished. I just spring a few of these out so they break them apart again. And then neaten up. So that's another simple layer finished. Just in case of taking it for a test.